Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a one piece. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, no, we're here for. I have opened some of them already, as you can see. So, by now, I do believe I've seen most triple rares. And I uh, just wanted to make the second video because, I mean, obviously, the first one went pretty crazy. If you, if you saw the first one, uh, yeah. Let's just say it didn't get better than that, obviously. I, I actually didn't get anything higher than uh, triple in the. Uh, the others so you know hey i mean i'm not gonna complain you know obviously if you know you know hey. at the end of the video i'll show you in case you didn't see it but if you know you know i don't think you'll get better in this one either but uh hey who knows we can try right so the sheet oh nice nice there we go okay come on so Yes, you do get this one in every box. I did notice at first. There you go. Sorry, a bit hard to open. I don't know why. There you go. So at first when I opened the second one, and then the third one, I was like, man, there's no way. But, you know, now that I see four times, there's no way they're, <laughs> they're the same, right? So you do get that one guaranteed per box. So. And it's like a 50 cent card, so it's not even like that bad, you know. Yeah. It's a little free add-on, so I'll take it. And we have the Gear Goat and the Stole Dragon. Very, very nice. I think I've seen these two as well. So you could get those two. You could get the flower. I forgot her name, but it's like a flower uh, girl. And that one, I think, is the one you're going for. Get that, that one's like four bucks. So there's usually like a good promo, right? Like in the previous one in Fated Clash, it was the Servant Valkyria. And this one is, uh, I'm guessing, going to be that one. But yeah, no, today I actually wanted to theme the opening and, you know, obviously go through it and everything, but kind of theme it around a discussion and it's actually going to, <laughs> oh my God, we're starting out kind of crazy. Uh, it's actually going to be themed around the, what's it called? The Faded Clash versus uh, this set. And in my opinion, why I think it's a slight step back. Now, obviously keep that word slight. I don't think this is a bad set. Obviously, it does have some pretty good, obviously, value. And, and randomly, too, you wouldn't think so. But uh, a lot of the double rares, like, there's, like, one double rare that's, like, five bucks. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's worth more than, like, 50% of triple rares. That's kind of insane. But And there's other ones that are, like, $2, $3, you know. There's actually a lot of value in this one. But in my opinion, since they are the same price, I, I believe both are going for around $59 to $60. If you're wondering which one you should open, it definitely should be a uh, faded clash. And sorry for not moving. I was, I was just making sure my dog was okay. She was, uh, I think, kind of sus, but I think she might just be tired. But anyways, we did get our first silver, which is a triple rare, which is kind of crazy. What the hell? Faded one of taboo. Oh, if you know, you know. Holy shit, yeah. If you know, you know. Uh, I mean, I'll show it at the end. I did say, but hey, if you watch my first video. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Faded one of Taboo, Sorgan Adir. Obviously, it seems to be inspired by the Lovecraftian mythos. And man, let me tell you, if you ever <laughs> experienced a case of, you know, like something not living up to expectations, turn no further than uh, the Lovecraft, the original story eight, uh, from HP Lovecraft. Holy crap, I've never been more disappointed. The Call of Cthulhu. Dude, they hype up this thing as, you know, oh, these creatures can't leap from worlds and, you know, do these crazy things. And you know how it's crazy. You, you would think, right, like, you could throw a nuke at this dude and it'd be fine. Like, it'd probably be, fuck it. It'd probably use the radiation as fucking sunscreen or something. Like, it probably wouldn't bother it. And, you know, based on how it's described, this insane creature, otherworldly, we can't ever understand it. You know how they beat it? They ran my fucking boat into it, bro. <laughs> they ran my fucking boat into it. I've never been more disappointed, man. Because obviously, you know, you, you hear to lose this insane creature. And, you know, obviously I wanted to see, like, the origin story. So I actually went through it. And, man, I could not believe that ending. Like, I, 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 might, I, like, I have to convince, like, come up with, like, some headcanon as to why that's not. <laughs> that's not Cthulhu. Because there ain't no way, bro. There ain't no way that's him. But... Anyway, sorry for the little side discussion. Wait, let's get back to this. So in my opinion, why is this a step back? Or 
not as again slight step back because I don't think it's a bad step by any stretch of the word. But again, I do think Faded Clash is better. Why? If we look at the triplers themselves, Faded Clash just in general has way way better ones. You're looking at, you know, Divine Sister. You're looking at Fallheart. You're looking at Tiscar. You look those are like thirty dollars, and that's just insane. That's three out of what like sixteen. And then you have other ones, and it's not like all, all the other ones are like cents. There's Raziel, there's Varga, there's what's it called? Prasia, there's all these other ones. Even Belen is like five bucks. Like the only bad ones I think in Faded Clash is the Silvani, the Lion thing, and then the Desire Devil. So like two out of 16 are pretty bad. All the other ones, even Nobia is what, like three dollars? So it's not even that bad. And again, assuming they're the same price, just logically speaking, in my opinion, you should open Faded Clash. And not only that, not it's not only the triple wars, because I will say the double wars in this one are way better, so do keep that in mind. So that might balance out, right? But unfortunately, it's not only that. In some of the boxes I've opened, you actually do only get, uh, seemingly you get either one or two silver wars, so it's not actually too guaranteed anymore. Which, in my opinion, is kind of a huge blow. Just because... Uh, you know, that silver rare could have been a, a triple rare. Realistically speaking, it can replace a triple rare. It can it can be an insane card. And some of those triple rare silvers are actually pretty insane. So having two guaranteed ones gave you actually a pretty good chance of pulling something. Maybe not insane. Maybe you didn't get the best one, but gave you a chance of actually pulling some good stuff, you know. And now with it only being one or two. And realistically speaking, I think I only opened one box where I got two. So it might be actually pretty rare. <laughs> so... RIP if it is. It just sucks to see, you know? And then not only that, the EX triple wars, I will say, are better in this one as well. I do think it's better that they cut out the number, but they just make them better, you know? So in my opinion, that's fine. This illusionless point for illusionless strife, silver rares, point for faded clash, triple rares, point for faded clash. And then let's look at the final category. They actually removed the rarity from this one. They removed the over double rares, which, yeah, there's there are like two that are like that like Katrina is like twenty five cents, and then the that's it actually. All the other ones are like three to four dollars, and then the Aquatic King and Ignition is like twelve, and then Aquatic is like twenty. So I thought that was pretty cool that they gave you that extra incentive to open the box again. The whole point is that Vanguard boxes usually don't isn't worth opening in my opinion, just because. It has the Bushiro problem, where you need to hit those very specific per case hits to, realistically speaking, make it worth opening at 60, 65, whatever. But in my opinion, Faded Clash was the one set. Flat of Chakra Barth as well was pretty good, in my opinion, but not obviously not as good as, in my opinion, Faded Clash just uh, gave you that opportunity, even if you didn't hit those per case double frame bears, the DSR, the Seekers, whatever you want to call it, you know? Even if you didn't hit those, just with your triple rares and the silver rares and the over double rares, you actually had a real chance of, you know, still constituting some actual value. And it made the boxes so much fun to open because even if you didn't hit those, it didn't really matter as much as usually in most sets. If you don't hit it, it's like, oh, holy shit. Like, you know, I'm talking like sets like Evenfall or Clash of Heroes. Well, before. When they came out, holy shit, those sets tanked. I think now they're actually doing a lot better. So, hey, that's what's up. <laughs> I think I actually still might have some that I didn't sell. So, I have to double check it. But, you know, just in my opinion, giving people reason to open boxes is a huge plus. You know, and obviously, yes, I'm biased. You know what? I was going to say not even from, but yes, I am biased. What the hell am I going to say? Obviously, I do like opening boxes, so. You know, just giving people that reason also helps stores, you know, be able to actually sell the product at a price that they can actually make money on and want to keep the product. So in my opinion, the DC, so to recap, DC, I think it's a great step in the right direction just because they're giving you more value for your boxes just in general and making it a much better experience overall. So that's a plus. And this set as well, it also has a lot of those benefits. So I'm not saying this is a bad set again. Again, I have to emphasize that because someone's going to be, are you saying this? It sucks. No, I don't. But again, I ju I'm just saying I do think it's a slight step back because they are taking some stuff away. Mainly the over double wear, in my opinion, I don't really see why you would take it away when, you know, it's just a little bonus. Yeah, it could be a $5 card, but I mean, 
you know, it's it's just a plus. <laughs> like, there's literally re no reason, you know. And again, the EX triple orders, I'm fine with what they did. And the silver orders, I do hope we go back to two. Just because, again, it does help you maybe if you got a shitty triple orders, maybe the silver orders can save you. Maybe you can get an extra one. So I thought that was pretty nice. And again, it helped break that uh, need of case or need per case hits. So it, I feel like, balanced out for you know the people who obviously not everyone can afford a case you know obviously <laughs> newsflash you know not everyone's gonna drop 900 percent not everyone's gonna drop two thousand dollars per set it's just the reality of things so i think when they actually balanced that out like they did in faded clash in my opinion that is a huge plus so again good set slight step back though so that is why in my opinion if you're trying to buy a box you should be buying uh, faded clash but obviously, if you like the cards in this set, speaking of nice, if you like the cards in this set, you're looking for a particular strategy, you're looking for the new faded ones and A. Obviously, you know, obviously do whatever you want, but that's just my general advice. From my objective perspective, I don't know. <laughs> and again, I did get blessed on this one, so I'm not like even being salty or anything. Like, I did get pretty lucky, so it's just, in my opinion, I'm more so objective and again assuming this is this entire argument is on the basis that they cause the same thing oh this is speaking of what the hell speaking of this is the triple rare that uh, or the triple rare nice the double rare that costs five dollars nice fucking go so yeah obviously my opinion good set but hopefully i do hope that in dc3 i do believe it's coming around august or yeah right august yeah they never go that far without releasing i said come on so i do believe it's coming out in august so hopefully in that one we see those changes, but hey, I'm hopeful. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this set better? Do you prefer the previous one better? I don't know. Obviously, probably be worth more from coming from you guys, you know, because you guys are obviously way more knowledgeable in this than uh, I ever probably will be. So I do appreciate any insight, but obviously, again, this is coming from, a, I don't know, I guess you'd see an outsider perspective and just what I, my opinion is the better bang for your buck. So let me know what you guys think. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Drop that comment. Oh, oh my God. I, I was so excited for a second. I thought it was a double framer. Oh, man. Well, that sucks. But, <laughs> well, what do you do? You can't win them all, you know? And we did get some pretty cool uh, triple rares. So, let's see. We got that good double rare. This one, I think, is like eight bucks. So, pretty good. This one, RIP is one of the worst ones, but you can't win them all, you know? You can't expect to get all, I'm going to get all the best triple orders. Like, that's just, uh, that's just, I think. Oh, shit, we actually got the double rare. <laughs> what the hell, the frame rare version. What the hell, that's crazy. And this one is like two bucks, I think. So, nice. So, let's do this. Okay. Oh, man, I kind of, oh, I didn't do a top five, actually, in my first one. I completely forgot just because I got so excited with the pull. I could pull it and, you know, use it as the, as number one. You know what? Let's do my fucking, it is a pretty cool card. So. I think you, I think you'll know which one it is. Come on. <laughs> if you watch my first video, you'll know which one it is. So let's do this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think this should be fine. All right. Let's do the sheet. So, this is going to be, we're actually going to leave number one for last. Let's actually, we're going to make it exciting. In case you didn't watch my first video, if you did, then obviously this is <laughs> this is just dragging it on, but shut up. So, number two is going to be Faded One of Time, just because I really like the Faded Ones, and hey, it's exciting. I did get the Faded One of Zero in, in one of the other boxes. It's this guy, actually. So, in this one, there's three Faded Ones. So, Faded One of Zero, Faded One of Time, and Faded One of Taboo. So, that brings it up to seven now. Yikes, not a fun time for me, <laughs> but all right, so we got Fader One of Time, you know, it's just an angel, it reminds me obviously more so of Ray Sail, just obviously a female version, so it's pretty cool, you know, obviously I do love me that uh, Judeo Christian Angels, so love it, whenever they do, like Digimon just did a Heaven and Hell set, unfortunately the first video I did have to edit something, so... I had to stop the recording and resume it, so I have to edit it. And with the storage issue, I kind of can't upload it. But the last set, I actually went to Heaven and Hell, and it was a sick set, man. They had, like, the seven deadly sins and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. But, yeah, anyways. We got Battle Monk. You already know. Got that one. 
Nothing too crazy, just kind of, you know, kind of a basic card. But I like it. I like the weapon on this one. So I think it's neat. I think it's unique. So I like it. Then we got a drone. This is Brangate, obviously. Yeah, I was going to say technology, right? So look at that one. We got Brangate. It's Aurora. Oh, wait, wasn't she... Didn't she have a card in Dragon Masquerade? Like with a water gun or something like that? Well, it looks a lot like her. Maybe I'm tripping, but let me know if it's true. I also actually really like it because obviously she's like a prison guard. You can tell by like her outfit. And you can see like all the panels that are like camera. I thought that was pretty cool. And then we have number five. There right, no. We have to give a shout out to this one just because the best double. I don't know. I, I don't really think it's that cool of an art, but this reminds me if you watch Bleach, love uh, his uh, Tengu Maru, I think it's called. It's like a huge, uh, literally just like that. And he literally is covered in fire too. So it's exactly like that. So that's why it reminded me. All right, let me show you number one. Let me shut up. And, uh, I actually already put it here. So hopefully I can. Okay, nice. I don't, I don't even know if there will be enough space for this, but whatever, we'll figure it out. Okay, let's do this. Number one, this is my trade, sell, whatever you want to call it, binder. So number one is, oh, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, there you go. Right here, this is bad boy right here. We can't be stopped. Flight of Charcoal Bart, the Faded Clash, and fucking uh, Illusion of Strife. DCO3, you better watch your ass. I'm coming for you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna. Hopefully, I just didn't jinx myself for like the next three sets. But let's do this. Number one has to be, since I didn't do a top five in the previous one, I did, I did want to, you know, give it a shout out. But that is actually crazy. Look at this. We got that. Uh, evolution of forms this was thankfully dude thankfully i recorded this one this was like a <laughs> like a predecessor to this one what the hell where did i leave the silver what oh come on there's seriously i forget it oh it's right here sorry i put it in another pile right here Check it out. We got that evolution. Is this all the... F I think this should... There is no way he has more than this, right? Look at this. <laughs> we got three others, dude. What the hell? Oh, the whole place. Oh, no. Actually, I think it's four, huh? In Car 5 Vanguard, I actually think it's four copies. But RIP, that ruined it. I can't have a whole place hit with different rarities. But still, imagine someone pulls up with this, dude. That's the ultimate flex. Holy shit. That's crazy. But yeah, number one. It's going to be a Faded One of Taboo. Sorga Nadir. Definitely Cthulhu inspired with a name like that. And just look at that metallic frame, dude. It looks so sick. Awesome. Honestly, I love it. And then the silver rare, of course. So obviously, this is essentially... We see the evolution, right, of the card. The triple rare, you see the text. So essentially, like a full art in Final Fantasy. They just removed the text box. Very nice. And obviously, the little silver at the bottom. And then the ultimate one. Where, <laughs> you know what... In this one, they removed the text box. In this one, they just said, fuck it. Remove even the title thing. Remove the title card. Fuck it. Just leave, leave the whole thing out. Leave, remove the entire HUD. It's when you remove the HUD. If you play Cottage, when you remove the HUD. Holy shit. All right. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun opening. Eh? And it, I think this was one of those examples where... I don't know if I made my money back, quote unquote. I did pay, I think, 48 for this one. So, I did actually get it kind of cheap. But I don't know if I, quote unquote, made the 60 back or not. But... I did get some pretty good triple rares, actually. Most of them average, I think, were the, like, $10 ones. So, I didn't get the better one. It's, like, the Le the Devil Chick or the Bergamite or Fated One of Zero. I forgot the name of it. Bergamite or something like that. Or, I forgot. It starts with a B. So, I didn't get either of those, which are the, quote-unquote, highest. I think 15, the Devil Chick. And then the Fated One of Zero is going for, like, 12. So, those are the two highest. I didn't get them, but I did get, a, like... Most of the other middle of the pack ones that were like the $10 ones. So pretty good opening in my opinion. I had a lot of fun recording it. I did get the other two, uh, what's it called? Sorgan at the year. So that was pretty sick. I now have all the rarities. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. And it, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested in that third one, I do have one last box. I might just record, I don't know, but I don't think so. Usually, you know, I usually try to stick to two unless it's something really hype. I did record a three of the Digimon one, for example. I actually really enjoyed that set, but... I don't know. If there's enough interest, we'll see. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hey, see you.